So currently I feel all the Android drones are same. The only thing that make difference in performance is Android kernel. So normally if you install a custom ROM, you get latest Android version with some features. But if you install a new kernel, you can increase your performance, battery life, RAM management and gaming FPS. So in this video, I'm going to give you three base kernel that I personally use and it gave me outstanding performance in gaming and day to day life. So let's get started. So first of all, you must be thinking what is kernel? Kernel is a bridge between your hardware and your software. In mobile phones, it's a bridge between your ROM and your hardware. So even if you install very good custom ROM on very good hardware, means on very good phone, but still it's not guaranteed that you would get amazing performance because ROMs are not performance driven. For that, you have to install a custom kernel. Also keep in mind that you can easily overclock or underclock your kernel. So Crimson is one of my favorite kernel. So if you install this kernel, you will easily get 66 FPS in any game. Last time I installed this kernel with Havoc OS, I got amazing battery life around 10 hours of screen on time. And also Crimson kernel overclock your display to 66 Hz, even if you have normal 60 Hz display like me. And if you normally play PUBG, then you might know that PUBG is normally locked at 60 FPS. But with this kernel, you can go beyond 60 FPS easily. Installing this kernel is very easy. You just require a small zip file and you can flash this on the top of any Android 10 ROM. If you don't know how to install kernel, I will drop a video in description. So you can install this kernel on any Android 10 ROM and you will easily get above 60 FPS. Personally, I got 65 FPS in PUBG. So Azure kernel is my daily driver kernel. Currently, I'm using this with my latest ROM which is Chorus OS and I easily get around 70 FPS in PUBG. So Azure kernel actually overclocks your display to 70 Hz. As soon as you install this kernel, you will see a huge difference in your day-to-day -day activity, especially when you are scrolling on your display. Because even if you are not playing game, still your display is overclocked to 70 Hz. Now in PUBG, I got around 67 to 68 FPS and if you play Call of Duty, you will get around 69 FPS easily. Now let's talk about the battery life. You will easily get around 11 hours of screen on time and the standby time is great too. And even if your phone doesn't support fast charging, with this kernel, your charging speed will definitely improve. Now when I charge my phone to 0 to 100%, it takes 30 minutes less than before. And because of Azure kernel, now I have fast charging in my Redmi Note 7 Pro. So if you want to go beyond 70 FPS and increase your battery life even further, you can easily overclock or underclock this kernel. You just need to install this simple app called Kernel Auditio. If you don't know how to overclock your kernel, I will drop a video in description. So Hydra kernel is currently the base kernel for 2021. Not only it comes pre-installed in many gaming rooms like Chorus OS and Evolution X, this kernel can make your mid-range phone perform as good as flagship phone. In fact, you will see this kernel in latest Oxygen OS McLaren port and Cyberpunk port. With this kernel, you can easily play up to 90 FPS in PUBG and Call of Duty. Battery life is decent, you get 10 hours of screen on time, but this kernel is by far the most stable kernel out there. You can easily install this kernel on any Android 10 ROMs as well as few stock OS like Oxygen OS and MIUI. And Hydra kernel can be installed on more devices than any other kernel out there. This kernel will work on Chorus OS, Evolution X and plenty of other Android 10 rooms. But if you want to get base gaming performance, then install Oxygen OS Cyberpunk port. Because Cyberpunk port comes pre-installed with Hydra Plus kernel and is very well optimized. 